I think by attending this meeting, we've all acknowledged the power of CAR T cell immunotherapy against stomatological malignancies, which has also um, received uh, recently approval by both the FDA and DMA. And although it's a very successful uh, approach, um, there are still um, um, limitations that preclude it from broad clinical application. And in the autologous setting, um, the patient's health status poses as a critical factor for the successful manufacturing of CAR T cells, whereas in the allogeneic uh, setting, um, an histocompatible donor must be found with um, could take a lot of time. With our research, we propose the use of uh, induced pluripotent stem cells or iPSCs as an alternative source for the generation of CAR T cells. And we can uh, genetically modify those cells and add a CAR of desired specificity to those cells and then end up with uh, CAR T cells that would be functionally enhanced and applicable across HLA barriers. And what I would really like to highlight here is that the genetic modification is done only once. And then we end up with a CAR T cells that is a unique single cell product that could be applied into many patients, relieving immunotherapy from its individual basis. And what we also saw is that for the successful development of those CAR T cells, the timing uh, in the expression of key molecules in diesel function, such as the TCR and CAR, is very crucial. And according to the physiological model of T-cell development in the thymus, it's earlier, and this leads to an innate T-cell phenotype, which is uh, linked with uh, unspecific killing and lack of memory formation and persistence. And by incorporating this knowledge, we uh, developed a protocol for generation of CAR T cells of the adaptive immune system that lacked uh, endogenous TCR and HLA class 1, while they retained uh, HLA expression to prevent NK mediated lysis. And what we show also functionally is that our cells are capable of tumor specific lysis in a Nazi specific manner, and uh, even after expansion, which normally raises the risk of functional exhaustion, and our cells did not show any signs of alloreactivity or graft rejection when co culture with alloreactive T cells or primary NK cells. So therefore, we believe that this um, study suggests a strategy for the development of universal of the cell synthetic cell and immune therapeutics in the future. I believe that, um, of course, I would like to again point out that these are still very preliminary results. We're still in a pretty clinical stage, but if this proven successful, then we would be able, instead of preparing a CAR T cell therapy for its patients separately, we could have a uniform product that could be applied into many patients without prior donor patient matching or worrying about the quality of the patient's immune system and of the tissues that need to be isolated in order to be genetically modified in order to be able to prepare those CAR tissues that need to be infused. Of course, we would like to do further studies in order to uh, gain a, a deeper insight into the functionality of those cells and as the next step, if you mean translation ability of those cells, then this whole protocol needs to be developed in a GAP compliant unit in order to be able to be uh, translated clinically.